Hi guys and welcome to my 13th beginner Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to teach you how to hide and group cells so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to hide cells and this is very simple you either click on column or columns um, or rows um, and then right click and hide and they're gone so this is different to deleting um, where you're going right click delete and the cell's gone this is just hiding it um, and then if you highlight over it again and click unhide then it's still there and it comes back um, you can do this to hide details so when you want to show the total right click hide you notice that skip straight from 1 to 14 that's because the rows are technically still there um, they're just hidden uh, and again just highlight over and unhide to get them back uh, that's really useful um, and uh, can create some really tidy and really easy to understand spreadsheets so get to the practice of hiding stuff you, you don't really want people to see um, and then grouping grouping is a little bit different um, in that you um, well, it's easier to show you that than to um, than to just uh, to explain it. So if I highlight all of these, I want to say these are group, um, and I go to data, group and outline, and then group, and you'll see that on this side, I now have got a little bar that surrounds these. And if I click on the minus sign, then it um, collapses all of these onto each other uh, and just shows the total and I can expand that back out again really easily so this can be really really useful um, and if you use the ones and twos at the top then it does all of them so let's say I've got this set of data again uh, underneath um, and let's say this one's 2012 and this one's 2011 um, and uh, we group these so let's go down here and group those uh, let's call this 2012 total um, 2012 I want to get rid of these names Go, and um, we'll call this 2011 total. Right, and then we group these data grouping group, and then I can collapse those. I can collapse those and just show the totals. I can expand them all out. I can collapse them all down. Um, I can open up just one of them and drill it into the detail. Um, so this is really useful, this just uh, gives people really good control over exactly what information they want to look at um, and you can quickly just switch between things. Um, you can also create um, an even bigger one, so let's go equals grand total, we don't want it equals, what am I doing, grand total. Um, and then this is just going to be the sum of the two totals. Let's add them together. Um, and make the columns big enough to capacitate those. Um, and just give it a bit of a border. There we go. Um, let's give this border up here. And then if we group all of these again. Um, and if you group things rather than um, changing the things of them, that's great. Data, group, group. You know, now we've got three groups. We've got the inside ones, and then we've got the big one. So if we collapse that, then we get just the totals. Click on two, then we get the uh, subtotals. Click on three, and we get everything. So play around with that, um, see how you like it, 
Um, and for now, I'll leave you with that and catch you in the next tutorial.